Hello everybody and welcome to Solid Code. In this video we are going to code the bubble effect of the game. So basically it's going to be an element that takes the ball and lifts it up and when we cut it, the ball will drop. First thing we are going to do is to create a really similar level to the level 1 that we coded on the first video. So basically it's just a simple level where we have one rope and we can cut it and the game will finish. So it's just that, right? But the problem of this thing right here is that the stars are up there. So we need the bubble to make the ball fly and take the stars and then cut the bubble so the ball will drop. So first we start by using this sprite that I have here. Uh, I imported it, you can download it from the repository, the link is in the description and we use it as filter mode, point no filter. Then we are going to the prefabs and we are going to create a new object first. So we create an empty object and we are going to name it bubble. We are going to add an sprite renderer and this sprite renderer will have the uh, sprite of the bubble. So there it goes. Now we go to Zing and let's put it down. Let's put it there. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so there it is. Okay, we need to add this bubble to our prefabs because this bubble can be an element that uh, could be present in other levels of the game. So we go to bubble and now in the prefab we are going to add a rigid body to it. So it's going to be a rigid body that is dynamic, uh, it doesn't have material, is simulated and by default has gravity scale in 1. Later we will change that. And we are going to add a circle collider 2D and I'm going to edit the collider. I'm going to make it smaller than the actual asset and you will see why later. I'm just going to move it and let me go here and in the offset I'm going to center it more maybe there and I'm going to make it on Y a little bit down. Okay, so something like that. If we try to run this, let's see what happens. So basically the bubble falls down. So we need to change that. First thing we need to understand how gravity scale works. Right now it has a 1, but we need that first the bubble stays right there when we start the level. So we're going to put it to 0 just to keep it there. But later we will have to make it to go up. So let's see what happens with a negative value. So there it is. Now the bubble is going up and it's flying. That's what we need. So first we're going to leave it on 0 at the beginning and there we have it. Right now if the ball collides the bubble it will happen that they collide aggressively so we need to implement in the bubble a similar behavior to what we did with the stars so the ball can pass through it. In order to do that we go to the bubble to the silver collider and activate the is trigger attribute. So now it will work like this. We cut the rope and it passes through. Now we need to implement the collision effects or actions after the ball collides with the bubble. So for that we are going to create the bubble script. I already have it created here and we are going to edit it. First we are going to add um, attribute for the rigid body because we are going to change attributes on the rigid body of the bubble itself. A gravity scale value 
because we are going to change the gravity of it and we are going to create a public game object that we can override at any moment and is the object on which we are going to apply the changes so the bubble basically will lift the ball so first we get the rigid body and on the on trigger enter 2d if we collide with the ball we are going to lift the bubble so what we are going to do is change the gravity scale on our rigid body to negative and first we're going to do that we're going to let this for later and then now we go to bubble and we are going to add that component the bubble script we can see here the attributes and for now we are going to leave the game object ball as null for now now when we cut the rope the bubble starts now we need that when they collide the ball also gets affected by new attributes on the rigid body so first we are going to drag and drop here in the object here we are going to drag the ball because we want to affect this ball and we are going to do some changes on the script now for the ball what we are going to do we will have reference to the ball here and what we're going to do is to change the velocity only on y and we are going to put it to zero so that will make it stop the fall that is having after that we are going to put the position of our bubble object so it looks like it is moving with the bubble and we are going to change the gravity scale of it actually here is minus I made a mistake here is without the minus because we already changed the rigid body of our bubble and we are using that one to set the gravity scale of our ball if we test it now we have the bubble lifting the ball so here it says that I have an error and it's because for the stars I didn't set the destination thing that we saw on the first video so I'm going to do that for all these stars now that I did it let's see we should be able to reach the stars so great now it is working what we need to code now is that when we cut the bubble the ball starts falling so we need two changes one on bubble the bubble script and the other on the cutter let's do first on the bubble for this we are going to add an attribute to get the object renderer and in the start function we are going to get it because we are going to make the bubble disappear once it collides with the cutter we are going to destroy the bubble that means we are going to put the renderer in, in disabled we are going to put the ball once again to have a gravity scale of 0 0.55 which is what it has at the beginning and then we are going to destroy the bubble with that we get the following result we cut the rope and it goes up but when it looks when it collides with the cutter there is a problem and right now the problem is that I am able to move the ball with the cutter and I don't want that because for example if I do it here you will see it's like I am pushing the ball and I don't want that so we need to ignore the collision of the cutter with the ball let's do that for that we go to the cutter script and we add a public attribute to the object to ignore and we are going to ignore the collision with that object and we go to unity and we go to the cutter and now we are going to drag the ball as the object to ignore now let's test it 
and we cut the, the bubble and the ball goes down. So now it is working. This is what we expected. We already have this bubble uh, working. Thanks for watching. On the next video we will see about obstacles and create paths for those obstacles to repeat themselves. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like this kind of content. Give us a like and see you next time. Bye.